everyone! Today I'm going to answer five questions some of you have been asking about teaching and learning Kotlin. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest Kotlin news and be the first to know about the upcoming live streams. Question 1. Why is Kotlin a great language for education? Kotlin is a modern language suitable for teaching a wide range of computer science courses. It combines the best of imperative, object-oriented, and functional programming, its general purpose and multi-paradigm. Kotlin's syntax is modern, concise, and safe, which makes it easier for students to focus on expressing their ideas rather than writing boilerplate code. Less coding means fewer opportunities for error and less code to test, debug, and grade. Kotlin also helps write programs properly with static type checking, automatic memory management, and null safety. Kotlin was conceived with the idea of 100% interoperability with Java. This allows knowledge to be transferred quite easily, and it allows Kotlin to be introduced seamlessly wherever you are already using Java. Kotlin fixes some of the issues Java suffers from and has some features that are missing in Java. Learning the syntax is easy and the amount of code is nearly cut in half. You can even auto-convert existing Java code or course materials to Kotlin with our helpful Java to Kotlin converter. All these benefits have made Kotlin an established language in academia. It's already taught at 25 of the top 100 universities in the world. We know of at least 200 universities teaching Kotlin as a first language, teaching it for Android development, multi-platform mobile server side, web front-end, data science, cloud development, and more. If you teach a Kotlin class that hasn't been added to our map yet, feel free to reach out to us at education at kotlinlang.org. Kotlin is used by top companies that create the services and products we use every day for communicating, learning, streaming video, commuting, banking, just to name a few. And Kotlin skills are increasingly in demand as more and more businesses adopt the language. This is especially important for future careers. Question 2. How do I convince my colleagues, fellow faculty members, to switch to Kotlin? One way is to show them this video, along with a more detailed one showcasing Kotlin code examples, a live stream recorded by our developer advocate Sebastian Egner. For that video, we conducted several interviews with educators that addressed the most common questions and concerns that arise when making the decision of whether to include Kotlin in a curriculum. If you'd like to make your own pitch to your team, Sebastian also shared his slides from this presentation. Question 3. How can learners and educators practice Kotlin? If you've been using Kotlin for a while, you already know that we have the Kotlin Playground, where you can solve cones and practice in the browser. But I would also like to highlight some of the recent projects that our team completed to help users learn new language features. This year, our developer advocates solved advent of code puzzles in Kotlin to showcase idiomatic Kotlin examples. JetBrains became one of this year's event sponsors, and we even made a GitHub template for those who'd like to practice by following along. This is a fun way to hone your coding skills and is definitely worth checking out. Our colleagues from JetBrains Academy, a hands-on project-based learning platform, launched a Kotlin Basics track suitable for beginners. This is an excellent free resource for anyone who's just getting started with Kotlin. Another great way to practice Kotlin is the Atomic Kotlin book. This book is suitable for Kotlin learners of all levels and is available in print and as an ebook. It breaks Kotlin programming language concepts down into atoms while providing hands on exercises inside IntelliJ IDEA. There are hints and solutions to help in case you get stuck. The Kotlin development team includes some competitive programming champions. We even have our own Kotlin-only contest on code forces, Kotlin Heroes. We think that competitions are a great way to practice the language, discover how powerful it is, and improve general coding skills by solving some thought-provoking algorithmic problems. Before each contest, we run a practice round with open solutions, so you can get a hint if you get stuck. Some of the world's top programmers take part in this contest, but we make the initial tasks suitable for programmers of all levels, and everyone has an equal chance to win prizes. Check out the page for Kotlin Heroes and stay tuned for the next round. 
We hold the contests once every three, four months. Question four, where can I find supporting resources to start my coffin class? JetBrains has built several dozen products that cover all the stages of the software development cycle, so you and your students will never be left without tooling and infrastructure support for Kotlin. An accumulation of all our teaching resources is available at kotlinlang.org education. It's especially noteworthy if you are looking to teach Kotlin. One of the most popular parts of our education page is the interactive map with links to the Kotlin courses. A lot of the content is available publicly, so you can use these resources as reference material for building your own course or for your own learning path. There are free educational licenses for IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, an automatic Java to Kotlin converter, EduTools plugin that offers existing courses and the ability to create custom ones, Code With Me, a new collaborative coding and pair programming service. It lets you invite your peers into your JetBrains ID so you can work on the projects together, no matter where you are based. And it's perfect for distance learning. There's a wealth of information available at developer.android.com teach about teaching Android in Kotlin, including an entire semester long curriculum featuring slides with speaker notes that educators can customize, hands-on code labs for students, solution code on GitHub, digital badges and more. Definitely check this out if you're interested in teaching Android development in Kotlin. Question five, how to connect with the Kotlin educational community? If you want to get a feel for the community and talk to other developers, educators, and learners, then the Kotlin Lang Slack workspace is the place to go. It has more than 43,000 members and there is a more scaled down education channel. We post educational news and announcements there. Uh, it's also a place for you to ask your questions and share your teaching experiences. On this YouTube channel, you can find our educational live streams, which are made by educators, for educators and learners. If you're interested in launching a coffin course or already have one you'd like to feature on our map, please reach out to us at education at coffinlang.org. That's all. We're looking forward to more questions about Kotlin in education. So please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with the latest news and live streams about Kotlin. Thanks for watching. Bye.